Well, now on just one station, a dog surviving the streets despite not being able to see or hear well. She was lost and then found. Seven's Rafael Pires has this exclusive, a heartwarming reunion. When I saw her, it's, it's indescribable. After two days of being lost and alone, two-year-old Jolene is back home with her family. Imagine you're a lost dog in a street. You don't hear, you don't see well. Jolene is deaf and partially blind, which just added to the stress her owner, Jessica Nardo, was feeling. She says Monday afternoon, somehow Jolene made it out of their home in Southwest Miami-Dade, and since then, Nardo was out searching by foot in the car, handing out flyers and posting on social media when all of a sudden Wednesday she got a hopeful message from someone who thought they may have found her pup. And when I called and we FaceTime, I saw that it was just a little Shih Tzu. She was disappointed but didn't give up. She continued to search and that's when she ran into a mailman and explained what she was doing. And he's like, man, it's so funny. I just heard a couple told me that they lost their dog. Putting the pieces together, she realized the Shih Tzu someone else found earlier belonged to that couple. So she helped reunite them. And it wasn't long until karma returned the favor. And then 15 minutes later, I got the phone call about Joey. Someone found her dog about a mile and a half away from her home. Nardo wasted no time driving over. And as I got there, sure enough, little Jojo was sad, scared, but happy. You know, she's still really dirty and, and scraped up, but she's definitely happy to be home. She's just so, you could tell she's so tired. Nardo says this reunion wouldn't have been possible without the help of her neighbors and everyone who spent the last two days tirelessly searching for Jolene. And I know people are going to be like, oh, but it's just a dog. And I'm like, they're never just dogs. They're never just cats. They're never just hamsters, guinea pigs, you know, geckos, whatever. They're never just the animal. They're like a part of you. Rafael Pires, today in Florida. They sure are. The pup was taken to the vet, by the way. Her paws are a little bit raw from all of the walking, but she is expected to be okay.